for so many people, this was a huge thing to do uh, previous, prior to the pandemic was uh, the painting with a twist. And to be able to go out with your girlfriends and your friends, or even on a date night and enjoy a different type of event and expressing your creativity. But of course, everything has changed due to the COVID-19 crisis. With us now is going to be Jackie Cook. She's painting with a twist in Ferndale. Great to have you with us. Hi, Ronnie. Thank you so much for having us today. I'm very excited to be with you here. I will say I'm a little bit bummed because this was on my list of things to do. I had several girlfriends who did it and they had so much fun and then everything closed down. But are you reopened? What's the status currently for uh, painting with a twist there in Ferndale? Absolutely. So, you know, we did close down for most of the year. You know, we've been working with the current uh, kind of COVID orders and guidelines to kind of keep everything safe as best we can. So we are back open as of this month, but we are not allowing food or drinks. You know, that's the twist is that you're usually allowed to bring beer, wine and snacks with you. Right now, unfortunately, we can't have food in the building, but you can still come paint, listen to music and have a great time. So we've got something going on anyway. <laughs> yeah, but for us uncreative individuals, we could we could blame it on drinking the wine as to the reason why our painting didn't really turn out like it was supposed to turn out. I'm going to say that is the truth. It's always a good excuse. Um, you know, we are kind of moving into this year as well, offering virtual options. So that's a great way that you can kind of have the same experience or a similar experience while you paint at home and then you can use the wine as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I do wonder, though, sometimes I see some of the contemporary art that's out there where they just maybe do some brush strokes or throw the paint on the canvas. And I think I can do that. Absolutely. You know, I find, uh, you know, even if you've never painted before, you're going to find a style that you like. You know, some people like to stay in the lines. Some people do like that messy kind of fun abstract thing. That's my personal favorite. So that's what I really encourage you to do is kind of try different styles of painting because you're going to find one that really works for you that you really enjoy doing. And so with that, it looks like you have um, a backdrop there in front of you. Yes. You, for those that think, oh my gosh, I can barely draw a stick figure. Could this be something they still enjoy? If I had a dollar for every time I heard someone say, I can't draw a stick figure, I would be a rich person. But I also know, having taught all of those people how to make a beautiful painting, that, you know, we can walk you through it. And that is what we are really great at is we are here for you to get you to that kind of creative spot where you can have fun with it. You know, we walk you through in little baby steps. You know, it's something that anyone can do. Um, you don't have to have an art degree to kind of understand how we walk you through the painting. Um, and that's the great thing is there's really not a lot of wrong or right when it comes to painting. So even if it looks a little bit different, that's what it's all about. So that's the fun thing. You'll see kind of everyone has their own personalities as they paint. Uh, Jackie, do you have paint by numbers? Like I remember those back when <laughs> I was like, what, in first grade? <laughs> and yes. Put red here, put blue here. That I could get down with. You know, I always tell people that I'm your paint by numbers. So we do kind of tell you exactly that. But again, maybe you're not so constrained by all those lines. And it gives you the freedom to kind of, again, make it your own. So with that, Jackie Cook with us here on the Megacast. She is uh, with Painting with a Twist. Uh, so uh, tell us uh, the painting that you have there with you. Are you going to do yeah. a demonstration for so, us? Yeah, I was going to show you a little bit to kind of show you what it is like, especially in a virtual setting, because this is where I kind of my little home studio that we've been working out of for the summer and uh, now into the winter here too. But this is kind of what you'll see when you get one of our at-home kits. You'll get a video that kind of walks you through step by step. And it's the same thing in studio, you know, again, those little baby steps to get you to a great piece of artwork. So I'll show you a little bit here just to kind of show you the magic as it happens. Trees are one of my personal favorites to paint. They always remind me of like that Bob Ross style kind of stuff. So, you know, we would, again, break it down in little baby steps. We're going to tell you exactly which brush to use. We're going to tell you to pick up some black paint on your brush. And I'm going to point it with that skinny side up and down. And we're going to make a magic tree. We're just going to kind of go ahead 
we're gonna tap a nice long line kind of up towards our moon. And then we're gonna turn our brush and cross it over. And we're just gonna make a fun tree. We're gonna kind of zigzag back and forth. And as you keep working down that middle line, you are gonna see your tree start to form. I always like to fill my trees in kind of full so they're nice and full and healthy. And then I'm just gonna end up taking it all the way down here and we're creating our nice forest here for our winter harvest moon forest that we're working on. So I could be doing that right now at the same time and my tree would not look like that. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing I always tell people, especially with trees, there's a lot of different species of trees. So if you have a different type of fir, that's all you gotta tell people is that was your intention, it is your tree. Art is all about confidence. So that's 90% of it. <laughs> So yeah. with that, it, how long do these um, classes typically last? So our typical class when you come in studio is going to be a two hour session, you know, and that gives us time to kind of build things up. It gives you time to maybe take a break, wind down a little bit. We sometimes play some fun, fun games in our classes as well. And uh, when you walk out at the end of the two hours, you're going to have a beautiful painting. But is it going to be a painting that I could actually hang? <laughs> You know, honestly, it's so funny because, you know, uh, you can always find that spot for it. You know, even if it's the laundry room, I really encourage you to find somewhere to hang it up. I also always find maybe giving yourself, uh, you know, the benefit of the doubt that it's good. You know, everybody else is going to not see all the little flaws that you see. So I always say hang it up and be proud. <laughs> uh, we, I come from a family of nine and I have a twin sister and we're the bottom. But then my brother right above us. He's the most artistic, talented individual. He's amazing, just absolutely amazing. And we say he sucked up all the talent. So <laughs> there was nothing left when it came to us. <laughs> you know, and that's, you know, that's one of those things, you know, we do hear that a lot, you know, they'll compare, you'll compare yourself to somebody in your family. Um, but again, it's, it's your own art. It's all about you, you know, and it can be a very cathartic experience. You know, maybe it's not totally about the end product, but maybe it's about like the time you spent doing it. So, you know, I think that's a kind of great way to look at art and nothing's ever perfect the first time you do it. So it takes practice makes perfect too, when it comes to painting. Can you teach someone to be artistic? I, you know, I think so. You know, it, it, it is one of those things that, you know, maybe you're super, you know, mathematical kind of people, maybe they don't, aren't always going to be the first, you know, it's a little harder to come to them sometimes. But really, again, it's about skills, you know, and if you have like that vision in your mind, you know, it's really about just kind of learning the tips and tricks to kind of get you to be able to kind of repeat that image. So, you know, I think it is partially practice, but partially you just have to have an eye for beauty. <laughs> you know what, you were so cute there because you were trying to be very PC. Yeah. It's okay to say, no, some people just are going to sting. <laughs> some people have a worse time than other people. <laughs> but they do say art is in the eye of the beholder. Indeed Beauty is in is. the eye of the beholder. Oh, with that Jackie Cook with us, she's with painting with a twist. How does it work right now with your classes? Are they appointment only and are you limited, limiting the class size? Yep. So we're actually always by appointment only, even before the pandemic. You do want to make sure to kind of sign up ahead of time for your class just so that we can be prepared for you. You can actually look at our calendar of upcoming events if you visit our website. Um, and you can visit either of our locations. We've got one in downtown Ferndale and one in downtown Farmington as well. And it'll show you all of the paintings that we have. You would kind of select the painting and uh, the day and time we have them scheduled at. You'll see going on on there. Um, and uh, we also are offering curbside takeout take home kits where you get all of your supplies that you need and come pick it up at the studio and then you get to go paint at home as well. So with that when you when you say that you can pick kind of your painting do you get a blank slate or do you guys kind of give an outline as to what you're trying or attempting to recreate? You know it depends on the artwork so you know things like people things that are going to look really strange if they're a little different. We usually give you a leg up. We have our tricks to kind of get you on the right track. So generally, if it's a person or something like that, uh, we will start you out with a little sketch to get you off on the right foot. For something like a landscape, 
you're probably going to start out with a blank slate, but don't let that scare you. Honestly, I think it sometimes makes it easier when you don't have those lines that you have to worry about. It really is all about the shading, though. I'm looking at your painting even now, and it's the different colors and the shading that makes it unique. You know, and that's, again, that's something unique is the right word for it, because, you know, we all have our brush own brush strokes, just like we have our own handwriting. So you're going to see everybody's brush strokes are a little different, um, but that's what makes it so cool. You'll also find it probably looks a little bit different in person than it does on camera. So, you know, you can always see, I say cameras do wonders for painting. So I always recommend as you're kind of enjoying yourself in painting to take some in-progress pictures as well. So Jackie, with that, you said, are you at your home studio right now? Yeah, I'm actually at my house right now. Yep. <laughs> so is that a, a blue screen behind you or a blue screen behind you? Or is that just the color of your wall? Because it matches your moon. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, it, it's actually just my wall. Yeah, we kind of use it as a nice back, backdrop. You know, this has been uh, the first year that we're really doing this kind of take home and virtual stuff. So for our take home paintings, we've actually been creating along with our corporate um, offices, we've been creating these step by step videos. So again, it's a little different than we're used to doing it in person. So it's definitely been a transition. Um, but I have this kind of set up to, to do that. So this is kind of again, what you'll see um, with the step by step videos for those kids. But this is still kind of a good way for girlfriends to get together that haven't been able to connect to be able to do it, but or maybe a date night. Do you think this is something the virtual is going to be something that will stick around once we get out of the pandemic? You know, I definitely see it as something that's going to stick around for a while here. You know, we find, uh, you know, it's something that gives you options. You know, we do actually have uh, uh, some classes coming up. We've got a date night going on in not this Saturday, but next Saturday, where we're actually gonna offer um, the paintings that are in studio, we're also gonna offer those as a virtual class. We're actually gonna do it over Zoom. So you'll have a little bit more of that interactive experience, but again, you can all do it from your safety of your own home. Jackie Cook with us here on the Megacast. Jackie, what have you learned uh, yourself personally during the pandemic? You know, I, you know, I think it's one of those things where we do have to, we have to stick together and work together. You know, I'm very grateful for our team at Painting with a Twist. You know, this is something that we've had to kind of be on our toes and figure out things as we go. So it's been really great having that flexible and reliable team. Um, and we're just kind of doing our best to keep everybody uh, busy. And, uh, you know, it's a, a lot of teamwork this year, I think. So with that too, have you seen an increase in the number of people maybe expressing themselves in artwork that, you know, because the pandemic, if anything, has given us more time. So there's no longer that excuse, one day I'm going to pick up that paintbrush or one day I'm going to learn how to draw. Have you seen more people uh, dip their toes and their artistic, you know, uh, aspirations during the pandemic. Absolutely, you know, and I think that whenever there's times of hardship, you know, that is a time that people do kind of lean towards artwork and things like that. So I definitely know some people personally that have really been spending time on their art during the pandemic. And also, you know, we have returned customers as well that, you know, have fallen in love with doing our at home kits and they really enjoy it. And, you know, we'll see their name every couple of weeks on our list for pickup. So it's, it's great to see that we can have that impact on kind of letting that happen for people. So Bob Ross used to say, happy little mistakes. <laughs> I wonder what he would say about the pandemic. <laughs> oh, you know, that's an interesting, interesting thing. He would probably have something beautiful to say about the pandemic. So I wish he was here for that. <laughs> He was really fascinating to watch Absolutely. on the, all the, those PBS specials. Who's inspired you? You know, honestly, I would say Bob Ross is a big inspiration. Um, you know, I'm inspired just by the world around me and the resilience of all of the people that I meet daily, you know, and that's something that I definitely miss with not having the in-person classes. I'm really just doing virtual right now. And it's that human connection of, you know, all of our people in the, this area are just, you know, I've met so many wonderful people over the years. So I think people are my inspiration. <laughs> 
Gosh, I so miss people, right? I know. <laughs> I never thought I would say that, but I really do. <laughs> so true. Jackie Cook with us. She's with Painting with the Twist out of Ferndale. Uh, before we let you go, Jackie, if someone wants to sign up for a class or do the curbside um, event as well, how can they do so? Perfect. Um, so the best place to look for information and also to either sign up for an in-person class or place an order for our curbside pickup for our take-home kits is just to visit our website. It's www.paintingwithatwist.com and you can either search Ferndale or Farmington, our two locations. Um, we generally do pick up uh, at Farmington on Thursdays and we do pick up for Ferndale on Fridays. So you just want to order by the day before. And again, for our in-person classes, check out our calendar. You'll see all of our lovely paintings that we have going on. We've got stuff for kids. We've got stuff for, again, a girl's night out and we've got those date nights coming up. So. Um, uh, we would love to see you in. And if you're interested in booking a private party, we're also kind of working on those as well, both in studio and on Zoom. So with that, uh, what's involved in the curbside kit and what's the cost as well? Perfect. So um, the kits are $35 per kit. Um, you get your canvas, you get brushes, paints, uh, paper plate, you get napkins, apron, and a cup to put your water in. The only thing that's not included is an easel to prop up your canvas on. They are optional, but we have two options for you. We've got cardboard easels for $3 additional, and we've got wooden easels for $10 additional. That is great. And for that amount of money, I mean, especially since you can't go eat in a restaurant right now, yep. This is great to be able to bring it home and uh, do a virtual night with either your girlfriends, your friends, or your spouse. Although I, I, my husband's actually a really good drawer. I, <laughs> would want to, he'd want to be comic book related though. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, it's funny. You know, we'll have guys, you know, do, you know, maybe you guys paint a landscape, but then like Bigfoot ends up in their side. But I find the guys have a ton of fun with it. Um, we're also offering a special for the month of January where you buy 10 kits, you get two free. We're calling it our 12 person party pack. So if you do have a little bit of a larger group, you know, you can always do a Zoom call together as you paint. Um, and just, just so you know that we've got that special going on as well. Well, Jackie, you're very talented uh, just from the fact that you did that tree, which looks <laughs> great in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I was going to paint a little bit more. It was going to be more of a forest down here. We actually have this one coming up on Sunday, and we also have this one available in the at-home kits. Okay, great. Uh, Jackie, anything maybe we didn't touch on that you want to uh, share with our listeners and viewers before we let you go? You know, again, I just want to thank you so much for having us out. I also want to thank you from our owner, Michelle Lewis. Uh, she has, again, been my we're our right hand and the left hand for painting with is host right now. And again, it's uh, all about teamwork. So I just want to give her a shout out to being a great owner. Oh, that's great. That's great that you enjoy what you do too. You can tell you love it. So Absolutely. well, we wish you, uh, you and your team the best as well. And for anyone out there who has thought about possibly um, you know, expressing themselves through art, this is a perfect way to do it. Fantastic. We hope we can, you can paint with us soon. <laughs>